Lounging about as usual, huh? Hmm? Hugh, what do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. That's not why I'm here. I was just making sure you were still around. That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other pals. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. No shit? Yeah. The thing is, all I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting? Huh. It's different for everyone. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's what I did. I'm not like you. <laughs> Man, you can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. <sighs> well, see you around. You really haven't changed at all. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? This is unusual. Please, come in! So not only do you excel at providing support during battle, you are also quite skilled at gathering information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. Oh, well... Very little of that was made public. I know. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean... hack into their system? Is that allowed? I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. But I need to know the truth. In detail. Senpai... Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. But here... I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose. So no, I don't have any complaints. 
You're right. We can't do this without you. No one could take your place. Uh, oh! Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus in the dark hour are on the way out, huh? <sighs> no, that's a good thing. That's what we've been fighting for. So then, why? Damn it! Why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot, even for July. Wow, can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. <sighs> Who cares? I just want to get into college and start having fun already. <laughs> I get it. My problem is me. I'm going on like fighting was my duty and all. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Because without that, without that, I'm nothing. So much for being a hero. I can't fight worth the shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. <sighs> Why am I only ever right about the worst things? Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad... I got this letter from you last spring. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It will be stored in a time capsule and sent to you in ten years' time. Yukari, you may be small now, but in 10 years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Oh, Dad. Yukari, I wonder, are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder, like you do now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Ichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? All I can do is believe. I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom. Not ever. Thanks. 
That's good. Bye bye. Now listen here. Are my requests wonderful that is a great relief very well then Welcome to the Velvet Room. Please take a look. Ah, please choose the personas you would like to fuse. Have you all the... Please take a look.
Select Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. Take all the time you need to consider. This one is some please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive a large amount of power. It appears it will receive a large amount. Well then, shall we begin?
in here. Good to see you again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So tell me, how's life as a Persona user? I wonder what? I hope you find it soon. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all stems from something that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Oh, didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? A persona is like a mirror. Which means a persona user can never escape their true self. But no matter what, I won't leave you. Because we're friends, right? Good night. 